Hi there! Today I'm going to talk about the Half-Orc race and critical hits, because one big feature of Half-Orc is savage attacks that add uh, an extra dice when you deal a crit with a melee weapon. But first, I'm going to explain how uh, critical hits work. So normally, when you attack a, an enemy, you roll a d20 for the attack hit, and if you roll the 20 number, you do a crit. So you have a 5% chance, but there's going to be many skills and items that will increase your chance of making a critical hit. Now for damage, let's say I have this hammer here, you can see my base damage is 1d10. If I land a crit and I'm not an orc, like any, any character, you're going to add uh, 1 additional dice, so 1d10 becomes 2d10, and now because I'm a, an orc, 2d10 becomes 3d10, so uh, the damage of 1d10, so 1 to 10, becomes 3d10, so 3 to 30. Now, I'm going to compare with this sword here. This sword here, 2d6, normally it's better, like, like if we, it's basic items, 2d6 is better than 1d10, because 2 to 12 is better than 1 to 10. But now I land a crit, and I'm not an orc, so 2d6 becomes 3d6. And now let's say I'm an orc, 3d6 becomes 4d6, and that's 4 to, 4 to 24, which is less damage than 3 to 30. So my first tip would be that if you're playing an orc and making a, with a big crits, what you want to have is weapons that have big dices, because a d10, if you uh, get several more d10s, it's better than d6s where you have more d6s. So the biggest, the base number of the roll, the better it is. Now I'm going to share three ideas that will help you uh, maximize the use of the half orc passive. My first idea is not the easiest class, so you're going to go rogue. And now I'm going to go level 3. And at level 3 you can get Assassin, and with Assassin you have Assassinate Ambush. Any successful attack roll against a surprise creature is a critical hit. So that idea would be to get uh, an Assassin that uh, hides and opens the battles from melee. The next idea would be to go uh, with a fighter. And now we're going to go level 3 again. And with the fighter you have the champion subclass that uh, the number you need to roll a cr to get a critical hit while attacking is reduced by 1. So before you needed to get a 20 with your d20 to get a crit, now you get need to get 19 or 20. So you, the 5% chance that you had becomes 10% chance. And now the idea is to stack many effects like this. There's a lot of items like there's a... Uh, I know there's a hat that does this, there's a, I think there's a ring that does this, so you stack a few items to s decrease the, the roll that you need to have to land a crit, so that your crit chance becomes something like 20%, 25%, and now you're going to get much more use of the Savage Attacks passive. And my last idea would be to play a mage or sorcerer alongside your half orc to get uh, paralysis spells. So at level 2, you have uh, this whole person and at level 4, 5 you have a whole monster and they are both very similar so if you successfully like hold the target now they can't move, they can't act, they can't react and all attacks made in melee are always critical hits so doing that you're always going to trigger your savage attacks passive. I hope you enjoyed the broken English, thanks for watching.